So obviously you sell a couple features, I would assume then? I had a few options. Before you get into a writer's room? Yeah, what happened was I worked in features for, um, it was six years, and I'd had a few scripts optioned that um, did not, they got stuck in development hell. Yeah. Those scripts ended up getting made independently or as TV movies later on. And I had also worked on Anastasia, which was the animated movie for Fox. I was the first writer on Anastasia. And I lasted about eight months before they fired me and hired the next slew of writers. <laughs> but um, I, I did get credit. But um, I had nothing getting made. Anastasia which did is get tough. made. So, you know, you're making a living, which is great, but it's, it's not satisfying yeah you know it's it's you know this, you're in it so that you see your work produced yeah. and jonathan called me one day out of the blue and said i have an opportunity for you on television i really think you should get tv a shot and it's not a show you may have watched but the showrunner read your script and she really wants to meet you and the show is dr quinn medicine that's Woman. awesome and I hadn't watched it, to be honest, and it wasn't particularly the, sh the style of show that I wanted to work on, right. but I was gonna give it a shot, and it was a fantastic decision. decision. Absolutely. It was just such a, a wonderful first experience for me as a, as a writer. I had been you know, alone in a room for so long, and here I'm with a bunch of really great people, and Dr. Quinn was filmed uh, on the Paramount, at the Paramount Ranch, Oh, yeah. So it had its own little western town. Oh, that's cool. The editors were there. All the departments were there. So it was really like going to school again. Yeah. How to be a TV writer. And I, when I got there, I was determined to take advantage of the opportunity. And Beth Sullivan, who was the showrunner creator, was the kind of person who was very generous with allowing you to do that. Yeah. And just welcomed you into all aspects of production and... Um, it was just great. I, I was there for two seasons. That's awesome. Also, it was, it was a huge ensemble of actors, so you got to write all these different voices. Yeah. So that was my first TV job, and what, I kind what, of never looked back. What season do, did you jump in on? Five and six. Was, so was that a little weird that you were the new guy on the block? It, it was. Did you get a little Dr. Quinn hazing? I, I did. I think they, were, <laughs> they were grateful for the help. Yeah, I had to, had to prove that I could ride a horse the first time. <laughs> But it's like it's funny to go to work the first day and you're at lunch and they're actually cowboys and Indians at yeah. lunch with you and it's like it's like old school Hollywood. My first day at lunch, by the way, was um, sitting with the writers and Jane Seymour sat down next to me. Okay. Now, she was in Live and Let Die. You know, she was yeah. one of the Bond Huge. girls. Yeah. She's absolutely stunning and, and you know, great actress and so professional and there's Jane Seymour talking about I was just on David Letterman the other night and I'm, I was a little bit starstruck of course like, I, mean, I was just sort of in my room for six years right you were in your little here, cave I'm out here uh, you know on location and it was it was really great but that's um, super cool uh, it, it, it wasn't that um, hard being the new guy because I think they were grateful to have a, a, a new voice on the show yeah. and to have someone who was really there to, to help and to learn. Yeah. So that was, that was cool. That's awesome.